Hi everyone, welcome back. Recently I uploaded a video showcasing my own company and traffic mod. To clarify, this mod is essentially a skin replacement. It transforms existing logistics companies in the game so that your own company's trucks and trailers appear in AI traffic, and you get branded operational warehouses to take and deliver jobs from. It definitely beats the monotonous routine of always hauling cargo for other companies, right? It finally feels like your own logistics empire is actually operating in the world. Now, I want to clear up a few things because I've seen some confusion. Some of you asked, how did you buy a warehouse? Isn't that just a garage? Let me be clear, it's not just a garage, it's a fully operational warehouse where we can take and deliver jobs. We didn't actually buy it in the game's economy, we just replaced the existing company name and logo with our own using this mod. Saying I bought it was just a metaphor, I am a billionaire in game after all, hehe. <laughs> I've also seen comments like, oh there are tons of mods like this already. Look, guys, I'm not here to compete or prove who's the best. I created this as an updated version of a similar mod I made in the past, just with improvements. I know other mods exist, but many are tailored for specific VTC virtual trucking companies. What about individual players who want their own company presence? That's why I make these mods and usually share them on my YouTube channel and website. I rarely use the Steam Workshop right now, maybe in the future if I have the time. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, enough chit chat. Let's get down to business. In this video, I'm going to share a quick tutorial on how to edit designs and save them properly as .dds files, specifically for this mod. We are focusing on replacing skins for AI traffic and warehouses, not creating standalone truck skins from scratch. Before we begin, you must have software that can open and edit DDS format files. I highly recommend using paint.net because it's completely free and powerful enough for this task. You can download it at getpaint.net slash download.html or just click the link in the video description below. Be careful on the download page. Don't click the wrong download buttons on the ads. Once downloaded, just install it. It's straightforward, so I won't bore you with an installation tutorial. Next, let's talk about downloading the mod itself. I need to explain this because I keep getting comments saying it's not free. Listen closely. Click the Gumroad link I provided. When it asks for a price, just enter zero. If you enter any other amount, it's considered a donation to support my work. Like buying me a coffee. Do you understand? If you don't want to donate, that's perfectly fine. Just put zero and download it for free. You will need to register for a free Gumroad account. For now, I'm not putting my free mods on Steam Workshop because it's a bit restrictive. On Steam, I can only upload one single file, but this mod has multiple parts, including files for you to edit. If I put it on Steam, you'd be stuck with my skin and couldn't customize it. If you have the technical know-how, you can edit these local files yourself. Okay, let's proceed. Download all the files provided. You'll get TM Own Company Traffic, TM Own Company, two edit zip files for replacing designs, truck and trailer templates, and a load order reference image. You'll notice some .scs files are locked. This is intentional to protect the main mod code, as people have broken it by editing it directly in the past. To customize the mod, you only need to edit the files inside the zip archives labeled edit. Let's start by extracting the three zip files the two edit mods and the templates zip. Select all three, right click, and choose extract each archive to a separate folder. This is important. Go into the extracted EDIT TM own company folder. Navigate to the DF folder. You'll find two files, lkwlog.sui and renar.sui. Open both of these using Notepad or Notepad++ for a better experience. Find the name TM Eurotrans and replace it with your own company name. Don't forget to change the sort name line as well. Do this for both files and save them. You've now successfully renamed the warehouse companies to your own. Now, let's look at the design files. Inside these folders, you'll find .dds files that you can replace. I'm assuming you already have your own logo or design ready. I won't be teaching graphic design here, you'll need to use your own creativity for that. Open these .dds files using paint.net. For logos, just open the folders I've provided.
Once you're done editing, make sure the Save As type is set to Direct Draw Surface DDS. Replace the original file. A Save Configuration window will pop up. For settings, select DXT5. Make sure Generate MIP Maps is checked. Click OK. If asked to flatten layers, click Flatten. That's one file done. Let's try a trailer skin. I might want to change the logo and color slightly. The basic principle is simple. Most trailer designs have similar layouts. You can use my existing design as a reference. For example, I'll open a trailer texture file directly in paint.net. Then I'll drag and drop the SCS box trailer template on top of it and click Add Layer. This shows you exactly where everything goes. You can now start designing your skin in paint.net using the template as a guide. When you're finished, follow the same saving process. File, Save As, DDS, Replace, DXT, Generate MIP Maps. OK, Flatten. You can copy and paste your design to other similar trailer files to save time. For trucks, I've also provided templates for Volvo, Scania, and DF. The process is exactly the same. You'll see a lot of folders, but my design is consistent across them. You can create a unique design for each truck if you're feeling ambitious, or just create one master design and copy-paste it for different trucks. It can be a bit tedious to edit and save them one by one, but you'll get used to it. Patience is key. Okay, let's assume you've edited and saved all your .dds files. Now it's time to compile them back into the mod. This is easy. Open the two original edit zip files using winzip or 7-zip. Then simply drag and drop all your modified folders and files back into their respective zip archives. Confirm that you want to replace the files. Once that's done, place all the mod files into your ETS2 mod folder. Refer to the provided image for the correct load order in your mod manager. These edit mods must be placed above the main mods in your mod manager to work correctly. And that's it! Happy driving with your own company fleet!